What the f player? Are you serious about this? This is bull. I I don't I don't know what to do with you. I've been tr I've been trying so hard to get on your side for like the last year. 2024 has been a good year. And I feel like you've been trying. I feel like you've been trying. And so I, I've been patient. I really haven't called you out that much. I've been patient because I think maybe, maybe No Dime December kind of broke through the barrier a little bit. Maybe finally you're beginning to like value your player base. You're trying to design a game that values its player base. I mean, that's the route to success. You like money, great. Respect your player base, and they will not only play your game more, but spend money in it. But you don't, you don't do that. For every little bit you give us, you're always there with your hand out saying, give us more back. You owe us. We don't owe you anything. We don't owe you anything. If we're going to give you money, it's because we want to give you money. Give us value. Help us to trust you. And we will pay you to play your game. It's a good game. It's such a good game. It could be better. You could fix a couple of things, sure. But it's a really good game. And, and I don't even know if you understand the level of anger that your player base has with you. The level of distrust that we feel towards you. And all the good work that you've done over the last seven or eight or nine months is about to go up in smoke. Honestly, it's like every time there's a cool thing that you do, like you give Ninja back for free. Awesome. Really cool. You know, and then there's something like what's going on right now. I don't, I don't do this very often. I don't rant. That's not who I am. I'm a happy guy. I'm an optimistic guy. I'm the king of second chances. I swear to God, if you try just a little bit, I will cut you so much slack. I promise I will. But you can't backslide and do shit like this. So today, Plarium, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do you a huge favor. And I'm going to tell you how to fix your game. How to fix your problem with your player base. It's not hard. It's pretty straightforward, and it will make you more money. That's the thing that drives me nuts. I am Colred. This is Colred Play. Let's get f***ing started. So, Clarim, I, I want to get off on the right foot, and I'm going to start by explaining to you why people are angry with you right now, because I don't think you saw this coming. And I'm pretty sure you don't entirely get the anger or the outrage that's going on right now. But people in my Discord community aren't happy. I've seen chat in game, both clan chat and global chat. People are not real happy with you. This is a video that was put out today by Saf from the HH Gaming Network. That's his channel. And it's entitled New Thor Titan Event Trickery. And you can see a big deceived here, although Quick note to Saf's editor. That's not how you spell deceived. But the reason people are upset is pretty simple. You omit facts that would be helpful to your player base. And it's clear that your intention in that omission is to create additional FOMO and cause people to spend more money. And you're constantly changing the rules that you yourself make. And, and, and as a result, players feel like they're standing on shifting sands. And we don't trust you to look out for us. It feels like an adversarial relationship. And I'm going to explain this very specifically so you understand exactly what I'm talking about. So let's go look at your... Plarium Play events calendar. Here we are. Yesterday, I looked at this events calendar and I was talking to my viewers about this summon rush. 
and how the Fayhammer Titan event overlaps the end of the Thor fusion event, and that had never happened before. And so what happened two weeks ago was you launched the Thor's fusion event and you gave us a calendar of events. And based on everything that we've known about you and your history and the history of fusion events, we believed that this summon rush was a place where we could potentially get extra fragments to complete the Thor fusion if we messed up during the two weeks of the Thor fusion event and missed one of those events. If we didn't complete something, this was going to be a chance at the very end to spend some shards and get some additional fragments for Diana and complete the Thor fusion. And there was no information that would tell us otherwise. There was nothing in our history together that indicated that there was anything more than that going on. And now what we're seeing is that this is a combined event. It is part of the fusion event, and it is likewise part of the Fayhammer Titan event. Now, by the way, you didn't announce the Fayhammer Titan event like ahead of time. You didn't give us the event map for that. You didn't announce the Thor fusion event like calendar until it launched. You used to give us the calendar in advance. You used to give us one or two days warning, three days warning, so that we could plan. And you don't do that anymore. And the only real reason is because you don't want us to prepare. Like, that's the clear implication. That you used to give us time to prepare, and now you don't. And why would that be the case? Because letting your players prepare is treating your players with respect. It's helping your players. And not letting them prepare is a step towards tricking them. Towards putting them at a disadvantage. You used to give us a benefit, and now you don't. And we're not stupid. We know that that's the case. And this is true, of course, with the Titan event. We didn't know this was coming, and we didn't know that this summon rush was going to be part of both events. So I spoke to my viewers. I did a fusion plan video, and I said, there might be some additional benefit here at the summon rush, but we can't count on it because we don't know what's coming. And so I advised all of my viewers to go ahead during the fusion event and complete the first summon rush and the champion chase. And that's what I did personally, with the expectation that these fragments here during this summon rush were extras, that they weren't necessary, that this event was a bonus event for people who maybe messed up the fusion and wanted to spend a little bit of money to complete the Thor fusion, even though they messed up. Or it could be an opportunity to just get some additional resources if necessary. But now what you're saying is, hey, you want this Thor soul, you need to go and do this summon rush. So let's go look at that in game. Let's see what that looks like. Here's your Fey Hammer Titan event and your summon rush. Looks normal so far. But as soon as I go into the summon rush, what I notice is there are both hammer points for the titan event and champion fragments for the fusion event now i've already completed the fusion my information was that this was only fragments here that i wasn't going to have to do this and so i decided to play very well as well as I could, not miss a single event during the Thor's fusion event, and complete my Thor fusion without these champion fragments. And what you have now done is you have said, well, you can't really skip this event if you want the five-star soul. There are only 250 free points, like extra points, right? You need 1,500 points here in the Fayhammer Titan event to get this five-star split soul. There are only 1,750 available. There are 200 that are currently in this event that we didn't know were going to be here. And so now I have two choices. Either I can spend a lot of resources to try to get these 200 hammer points, nine sacred shards worth of resources, and that's potentially going to 
impact my ability to complete the deck of fate down the line and get the guaranteed Freya that you did, in fact, tell us that it was coming at some point. You never gave us a date, by the way, because if we knew the date, that would be too much information that would allow us to be prepared and make informed decisions. And you wanted us at a disadvantage. So we have to mess up potentially and spend money to complete these events. Because that's what you want out of us. You don't want us to feel comfortable. You want us to be uncomfortable. And we know that. And this proves it. My other option is to skip these 200 points. And now for the next two weeks, I have to play near perfectly again. I just completed a two-week fusion. I now have to do another two-week fusion. And I can't mess up if I want to get that five-star soul. Now, I could modify my expectations i could drop down to a four star soul sure but you're forcing me to make that choice you're saying you can take less if you don't want to give us money you can take less and the constant message is we only value those people who spend a lot of money and even them we don't value that much we value just for an event just for this event we'll value you but we're going to hit you up again and again and again and again. And it's going to be nonstop at this point. Because if we just quickly look back at that event calendar for the last month, we can see your new philosophy on spending. I mean, it's super clear what you're trying to do. Today is the 17th. You can see that is highlighted in blue here. And we look and we have an extra legendary event, Faction Unity Summon. And we have the summon rush here for the 17th, 18th, and 19th. And then starting on the 20th, we have a champion chase tournament for the 20th, 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. So from now until the 23rd, there is a shard event every single day. The portal will not stop glowing for more than a few hours, and then it'll be glowing again. Well, let's look at what happened earlier this month. We know we just completed a summon rush for the Thor fusion event. So that was the 13th through the 16th. And again, this one, this current one started on the 17th. So again, we haven't had a gap of a day. We've had a gap of a few hours. That's it. Every single day has been covered. Well, what happened before that summon rush? Well, let's back up. We can only go so far. Oh, here's a progressive chance event. The 10th, 11th, and 12th, and then the summon rush started on the 13th. So there's no gap there. Let's go back a little bit further. What happened before the progressive chance event? Well, there was a sacred summon boost. That was the 6th, 7th, 8th, and 9th. And again, the progressive chance started on the 10th. So there's no gap there. Let's go back further. We've got a summon party. That was the Odin event with the void summon boost. And that was the third, fourth, and fifth. So on this event calendar from the third until the 23rd of this month, there have been zero days without a shard pull event. 21 days in a row, you have had a shard pull event. Every one of them has had FOMO built into them. Every one of them is an opportunity to get your players to spend money. And every one of them happens with the player base knowing that there is a guaranteed Freya somewhere nebulously in our future. It could be next week. It could be next month. It's going to happen before the middle of November, but we don't know when. And that's the biggest thing. Like, you're constantly trying to put us at a disadvantage. You keep secrets from us in an attempt to get us to spend in unhealthy ways. That's why we don't trust you. And the truth of the matter is, you don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do this. You don't have to act like this. We will happily spend money on games. We are 
built to spend money on games. We are gamers. We are passionate about our games. We want to support good developers. And good developers in our mind are developers who give us value in return for our money and treat us with respect. They listen to us. They listen to our feedback. They don't have to take all of it, but they listen to it. They care about community and they care about our in-game experience. And for a while, it felt like you did. There have been quality life improvements in the last year that have been greatly appreciated. The player base is happy about those. You've gone back to regularly buffing champions that are subpar. That's awesome. The filters for gear and champions have been improved. You've added good new content to the game. It's not perfect. You're still working on it. We appreciate that. But this, this mentality is still the same. That casino mentality of not thinking of your, your customers, your players as colleagues that we're in this endeavor together but rather looking at us as dollar signs and so i said i was going to tell you how to fix this problem and i am going to tell you how to fix this problem it's really simple you only need to do a few things just a few things first and foremost start informing us ahead of time let us know what is coming down the line the reason we're so mad about this is because you didn't tell us. If at the beginning of the Odin event, you had said, this bonus summon rush event is also going to be the launch of a new Thor Titan event, and it's going to include hammer points for the soul, then what everybody is going to start thinking is, that's really good value. I'm going to save some shards for that event. And maybe, yes, you will lose a little bit of money on the summon rush in the middle of the Thor fusion event. Maybe the champion chase doesn't pull in quite as much money. But what's going to happen is all of that money is just going to shift here. It's not going to be lost. It's simply going to shift over here and players are going to be happy about it. And by the way, based on what's going on in game, they're still going to pull more shards than they would have otherwise. Without changing any of the events, you've gone from people looking at this as deceived, as you've deceived us, to, hey, this is an opportunity for a whole lot of extra value, but only if we know ahead of time. And that's what I think you're not seeing. That's why I said, I don't think you saw this coming. You probably look at this and you're like, hey, this is an event that's got a lot of value for players. They're going to be happy about it but you're not giving us the information to make good choices. You are forcing us to reach into our wallets to make up for the fact that you put us at a disadvantage in the first place. All it takes is information. Give us the fusion calendar three or four days before the fusion. Let us know what's coming down the line a month in advance or two weeks in advance. Populate this calendar here not on the day of, but the week before. Let players know what to expect so they can give you feedback and they can feel like they're not being deceived. There are some other things, but honestly, that's all it's going to take. That's all it's going to take. If you, if you do that, it's a shift in philosophy from feeling like your player base are your marks, that you are con men trying to separate your players from their money. And it's going to turn it around to you're a, a merchant who has a supply and a consumer base who wants that supply, and you provide good value and you provide good customer service and they keep coming back that's the change in philosophy and this is all it takes this is really all it takes it also wouldn't hurt to lower your prices on shards a little bit but if you didn't even do that 
if all you did was just be upfront and honest with us and not pull f like this every once in a while, we would trust you more. And when we trust you and we like your game, I promise you, we will spend money. But until then, I'm going to stay free to play because I don't trust you. And I'm going to recommend to everybody who watches my channel to be as careful as possible with their money. Live the free to play life if they can. And if they want to spend, spend wisely, spend carefully, and never ever trust Plarium until they prove that they are trustworthy. And maybe that's going to keep me out of the content creator program. But honestly, that's more than worthwhile for me to trade. I don't mind. I'll stay on the outside looking in if this is what it takes. Because I don't want to be inside of that. I don't, I don't, want, to, I don't want to be on the side that has to defend that. I don't want to be on the side that says that is fair and good. It's not. And gamers are smart people. Gamers are really smart and they know it. And you lost players today. I guarantee you, however successful this event happens to be, there are players who will never log into this game again because of this event. That's it. That's all. That's all I have to say. So, good luck, Plarium. If you have any questions, you know where to find me.